Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this brand new video series, Asian vs. Western. Western beauty has been at the very forefront of the industry for such a long time, but right now, the Asian beauty industry has been making so many advancements in technology and having so many breakthroughs. I thought it'd be really interesting to bring two very similar makeup products together, one from the Western beauty industry and one from the Asian, pit them together and see which one comes out on top. Obviously, there is no shade whatsoever to either beauty industry. I love both. I just thought it'd be really fun to bring two different kinds of products together from two different preferences and two different parts of the world and see what happens. So without any further ado, let's get on to the products. So the two primers I'm going to be trying out today are extremely famous. One you have probably already heard of multiple times before. It is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is a Japanese brand. Super luxurious, very expensive. Everybody has been raving about it. The most famous YouTubers, makeup artists. And then the second primer, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this one before. It is super famous in Korea. It was created by a Korean makeup artist and it is all also one of the more luxury primers. This one is the Just Jep, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. Just Jep One Veil Firster. So I'm gonna do the Tatcha on the right side of my face, and then I'm gonna do the Just Jep on the left side of my face, and we're gonna see how it turns out. Here we go. So the Tatcha comes with a little disc that you can use to remove the product, and as far as I hear, only a tiny, tiny bit is needed. So for me, I have really oily skin. My problem areas, as usual, are my T-zone. And then I get really dry right here. So what I'm looking for in a primer um, is the ability to give me that glow right here. And then the ability to hold my makeup to my face throughout the entire day which is a tall order for a lot of primers because as I mentioned, I have oily skin plus we live in a humid climate and nothing stays on the face here in Malaysia, let's admit it. But I'm gonna see how much wear I can get out of my foundation with these primers. The Tatcha is on, I'm gonna move on to the Gest Strip. That one is going on the left side of my face. So this one is a lot more fluid than the Tatcha. It doesn't seem to be mattifying anything. If you can see on the Tatcha side, it's already smooth and slightly matte. This one, on the other hand, is giving me an insane glow. I kind of like it. I'm not mad about it. I'm going to be honest. The only problem is with this kind of texture, I really don't know how long this is going to last me. Also, my face looks extremely different on both sides. <laughs> this is actually extremely expected. Tatcha caters to a lot of Western tastes. We like a good I don't know why I'm saying we. I'm very much influenced by the Western culture, that's why. So I like me a very nice kind of smooth silky finish. And then the Korean primer is just giving me that insane glow. I'm going to put on some foundation and we'll see what happens. So my foundation routine is going to be no frills whatsoever. I want this to be as simple a makeup as possible. I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is a full coverage 24 hour wear foundation. I wanted to give these primers as much as a chance that I can give them without having too complicated a makeup routine. I feel like you want to know whether these primers are good in a kind of everyday situation where you don't necessarily have that much time to apply your makeup. This Just Jab side is seriously glowy. So like I said, today's gonna be a really long day. I'm gonna be going out for breakfast and then hanging out with my family. And then in the evening, I'm gonna be taking the dogs out to a dog park. I'm probably gonna do one touch up right before I go out. And right now, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty High Coverage Creamy Concealer. Oh. Did you see that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hate products that do this. Sometimes they get onto my clothes when I'm already about to head out. I hate that. Tapping that in. You know, I should be testing out more primers. I live in such a crazy, humid country. If a primer works on my skin in this climate, it works. I'm gonna be setting with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and I'm setting with a damp sponge. So what I'm gonna be checking later are my problem areas, which are 
on the sides of my nose and then on my forehead as well as on my chin I'm gonna set these areas nicely with some powder also I'm not gonna mention it in the video because I know the difference in my face personally I have more of a line underneath my right eye and I barely have any lines underneath my left so I'm not gonna be comparing those because by midday you're gonna be able to see the crease pretty clearly on this eye but this eye won't show anything that's not the primers that's just the way my eyes are all right makeup set is done I am gonna be doing the rest of my face and then I will come back in a bit I am back this makeup was done super quickly because I have family waiting for me downstairs they are here to pick me up and I'm late I'm gonna do one final thing which is set with the morphe continuous setting spray I don't know how good this is at holding makeup but it does make makeup look really nice and glowy close up this is what my skin looks like right now this is the Tatcha side And this right here is the Just Jep side. So I'm going to be doing check-ins throughout the entire day. I'm going to come back here to the studio twice. Once to touch up and once more as a final kind of wrap up. Here we go in humid, extreme weather. Just Jep versus Tatcha. Asian versus kind of Western. Who will win? Hello! Sorry, I am late. Why? Why why me? I'm late on. I want to be sharp actually. Wait for you uh, almost half an hour. Two hours later. Finished breakfast with my family. Do not road rage. Okay. How did you know? I saw. Anyway. Time for a little check-in. It is 11.42, about three hours since I first put on the primer. So far, the Jess Jep side is holding up a little bit better than the Tatcha. I'm not sure if you guys can see, like right here, I'm seeing my pores a little bit, but over here, everything still looks very perfect. And then down here, underneath the lines, underneath my eyes, um, you can see a little bit of the concealer has come off as well. On the Just Jep side, everything is still pretty much together. And I will check in again a little bit later and we'll see what's going on. But this one over here hasn't had breakfast yet, so he just picked me up. It's about almost three o'clock. And I just had a look in the mirror. I'm really testing out these primers here because I just went out in the sun. I was sweating the entire time we were having lunch. No air conditioning. It was humid AF. I honestly thought Tatcha would perform better just because of the amazing reviews it's been getting. But right now I can see it's broken down in a lot of this areas right here. As well as this area on my forehead right here. Whereas the Just Jep side is holding up marginally better. Again, I am very surprised at the performance of the Just Jep just because it was so luminous and dewy. I don't know how it's holding on to my makeup. I'll check in again soon. <clears throat> Wanna watch a movie? Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. Wanna eat some ice cream? Uh... <laughs> it is now about four o'clock in the afternoon. I am about to take my dogs out for a little walk in the park and I thought I'd do an update before I left. This is what it looks like right now. Again, this one is the Tatcha side and this one is the Just Jep side. I don't know about you guys, but I really think Just Jep is holding up so much better than Tatcha at the moment. Right now I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a touch up. First thing I'm gonna do is add some sunscreen and this is definitely gonna break up the product a little bit. So bear that in mind at the end of the video when I'm doing my final update. But I ain't leaving the house without sunscreen, so this has to be done. Concealer and foundation. Back in with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Just onto some areas where the foundation has come off a little bit. And then back in with powder because you don't go anywhere here in Malaysia without setting your makeup. Going in with the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. 
fan all that in. One last thing I'm gonna do, I noticed my eyeliner was smudging a little bit throughout the day. So I'm just gonna grab a brush, dip it into my setting powder, and I'm gonna actually set on top of my eyeliner. The problem with this step is if you really like that really dark black eyeliner, this is not going to be good for you because it does kind of dull the color a little bit and make it look slightly whiter. I'm doing this because it's really hot out and I'm definitely gonna have trouble keeping that eyeliner on the skin. And that is pretty much it. I am ready to go. Chloe's getting really excited. I'm gonna go put her in her bag and we are off. I'll check in with you guys from the park. I can see that this side, there's separation in the foundation, which obviously is not a good thing. Again, the dust drop was holding up really well, which I am very, very pleasantly pleased because I do like a more kind of luminous finish. I'm not sure if you guys can see, hopefully you can. This is what it looks like right now. I've been testing it like crazy though. I've been sweating, it's been hot and super humid. So yeah, we'll see in my final check-in how they go. Just got back from the dog park, guys. Uh, this is my final check-in of the day. My makeup has been on for almost 12 hours now. So I've been sweating and touching my face a whole lot. Overall, taking a very close look in the mirror, I feel like this side, the Just Jeb side, still looks slightly ever, ever so slightly better than the Tatcha side. The thing though is that the Tatcha side started to break down pretty early on whereas the Just Jeb side only started breaking down after all that sweating and running around which is very highly impressive. Do not underestimate the kind of humidity that you get here in Malaysia. It is insane and the fact that these primers manage to hold up in that kind of heat and sweat and just wetness I am really, really impressed. This is very, very satisfactory. I usually don't get results like this no matter what primer I use, so both of these are amazing. But in the end, the Just Jet Primer inched out the Tatcha Primer by just that little bit. I do like it a lot better. The fact that this is also a kind of dewy, luminous primer gives it extra points in my book because I love me some dewy makeup. I'm going to list all the details for this primer down in the description box below if you want to get some information about it. And so that is it for my first ever installment of the Asian versus Western makeup face-off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other products in mind that you want me to review and face off against each other, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope I see you in my next one. Bye!